Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to continue with our project, which is ChatGPT plus drone. We are going to go to part number two, where we will do AI inference. So now it's up to you, which one do you want to use? You can use ChatGPT, you can use Gemini, you can use Hugging Face, Copilot, and so on. So the one we will be using is Gemini because it's free to use. And we have done some previous tutorials on ChatGPT and Hugging Face as well. So I don't want to repeat those. So we will be using Gemini today to get the feedback. So the idea is that the first thing we did was convert speech to text. The second part we are going to convert, uh, we are going to take our text and send it to the AI. And then in the third part, we will have some prompt engineering that will allow us to get the results that we want. And in the fourth part, we will add some actions. We will fly the drone, we will land it, we will move it around using our commands, using the AI at the back end. So that is what we are going to do today. Part number two, using Gemini. Before we begin, let me actually tell you about our Kickstarter campaign. We are almost done, only 47 hours to go. Less than two days are left on our Kickstarter campaign. And right now it is at 30% off. It is about drones and AI programming. Here we are in this series, we are integrating ChatGPT with our drone. But in this project or in this course, we are integrating much more. We have a lot of techniques that will allow you to be uh, allow you to become a professional in creating drone programming uh, scripts. So here you can see we have traffic surveillance, we have obstacle course, uh, and all of these are dynamic. These are not hard coded. Then we have fire and rescue, how to program multiple drones together. We have a lot of good stuff here, and also we have all of our previous courses on 30% off as well. So if you back us, you can get 30% off in any of these previous courses as well. So if we go down here, uh, these are all our add-ons and you can see these are 30% off. You can see all the pricing over here. And all these videos are also available of our previous projects and you can click on the link to get to that exact course as well. So that's pretty much it. If you are interested, you can go ahead and check this out. Back us only 47 hours left to finish this Kickstarter campaign. Okay, so today what we will do, we will start with Gemini. How can we proceed with this? First of all, we will go to aigoogle.dev. So ai.google.dev. And here we have build with Gemini. We will simply click on get API key in Google AI Studio. So we will click on that and then it will take us to the studio. Here we can use and interact with the AI model to see what kind of response are we getting. And here on the right hand side, we have different models that you can use. So what we will do is we will not play around with this. Instead, we will click on get API key. So we will click on that and here we will get our API key. Now don't use my API key. <laughs> Uh, I know uh, the, we should not be sharing this, but humble request, please don't share it, don't use it. It's free to use, you can go ahead and uh, get your own copy as well. So we will copy this and we will go to ChatGPT and use it, uh, not ChatGPT, we will do it in our program, which will be in PyCharm. Now, one thing is that one thing is that we need to see the pricing, the pricing of our Gemini so that we know what exactly are we getting into. So let's look at the pricing here. You can see that when you are using free of charge, you can request two per minute. So you can send two requests per minute. I believe earlier it was 60 requests per minute, but now they have shrunk it down to only two. But anyways, it's free, so why not? And then you have 2, 000, uh, 32,000 tokens per minute and requests per day, you have 50. So it's more than enough for us to get started. And then if you want to use it professionally, you can pay for it as well. 
Now, uh, if you don't want to do that, you can always use the free versions on Hugging Face, but you might have some limitations there, so you will have to trade off. Okay, so now how exactly are we writing the code? So if we go to our previous code, you will see this is the code that we wrote earlier. Uh, we are initializing PyGame. We are playing the sound whenever we require, and then we are recognizing speech from microphone, and then we are printing it out. Here you can see we are printing the text out. So all of this was written by ChatGPT. We did not actually write any of it. So that's the best part. So we can just copy this, all of this. It's a new day. We are starting off with a new ChatGPT window. So we don't want to use the previous one because when you use it a lot, then it gets slower and slower because it is getting the summary of the previous ones. It is storing the history, then it gets difficult and difficult and it is not remembering everything. So it will keep forgetting. So it's a good idea to reset after a few iterations, after a few calls. So what we will do is, here you cannot see, so I will push it up. Let me push that up. Wait, why can't we push it up? Okay, there you go. So what we will do is we will we will paste all of our code and now we want to continue with that. Okay, so we are getting the audio. We are getting the text through audio in this code. Now we want to send this uh, this text to Google's Google's Gemini uh, and get the response from it. Keep using functional programming. So I think that should be enough. Spellings, you can fix them if you want, but they do work without that as well. So it makes you lazy. So there you go. It is saying that it is quite simple. You can use import requests and recognize speech from microphone. Did it create a new function yet? No. Send text to Gemini. So there you have API using Gemini header bearer your key will that work uh, there there is a method provided by Gemini so let's go and check that out getting started so quick starts get an API key Gemini API quick starts so this is the Python code and exports pip install okay so they are using google generative ai so we can ask it to use this so use google generative ai let's see if it understands and it works out to send previously preferred gemini in your request we need to update previous example so Google Cloud Language, uh, I think it's still not getting it. So language one, okay, let me give it, so here we have the example. So that's why it's not always preferable to use it directly. So you do have to give it some example. So this is the example of initializing and this is the example of getting the text. So let's copy that. See, what we can do is we can actually go ahead and write it ourselves, but we want to be lazy, right? So that's why <laughs> I'm doing this. So let's copy that. So here we have given, I pressed the enter by mistake. So we do need to write something. Here is the, the example code use this as reference and do something similar there you go so hopefully we will have something better now based on an example of google blah 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 
by the way they mentioned that you have to install the required library and there you go so that's the one they mentioned as well we have to install so if we go down send text to google generative ai text and there you have it so we can add our key here and it should be good to go so let's copy all of that that's the best thing copy and paste and we will paste it and we have a problem let's copy it the other way and there you go so here we have it and our api key we are getting from our environmental variable but we can just paste it here <laughs> I know it's not the best thing to do, but we can just paste it here. Let me see where we have it. We had the API key. There you go. That's the API key and we are using Gemini Pro. And this is the model and this is the response we are getting. And it will print us the response. Once it has played, it will send us the response back. So is there anything else we need to do? Oh yeah, we do need to install. I forgot. So according to ChatGPT, we need to copy this code, pip install. And we will go to our terminal and paste. And hopefully it should not give us an error. By the way, someone was asking in the previous video which Python version you are using. I'm using Python 3.10. So I don't like to use the latest one because it can give you some bugs or some errors so that's why I prefer a more stable version rather than using the latest one okay so the installation is complete so we should get we should not get this error again okay so there you go it's gone and now we can go ahead and try this out so right click <coughs> sorry and we will run it what is going on at your end? Should have asked some better question. <laughs> what is going on at your end? Response from Google Generative AI. As an AI language model, I don't have a physical presence, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, okay, we are getting a response, but our question was really bad. So we need a better question. Let's remove this. I don't like to see any of this. I just need to see the response. So um, this time around, let's ask that which is the largest country in the world, right? So hopefully it will give us the answer. So which is the largest country in the world? There we have it. So we have the answer as Russia. And what else can we ask? So let's ask for the weather because Gemini has updated uh, information so it can fetch information from the internet. So hopefully it will be. But we already did two requests. I'm not sure if it will allow. Let's see if 30, uh, 60 seconds have passed or not. What is the weather right now? Due to limitations as an AI model, I don't have real-time capabilities. Oh, it cannot. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's, that's quite all right. So what we can ask is, let's ask for some technical answer. What is the best way to find edges in an image? taking a while probably because it is writing a big answer there you go oh oh that is big gradient based methods edge detection technique in processing uh, Sobel operator canny blah 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 Fourier transform regional growing methods so it gave us a lot of answers so as you can see it is working quite well and we are headed in the right direction which means we should be able to now write a good prompt and from there onwards 
we should have some actions that we can associate with that. So this is it for our video today. We have completed our task to get the response from Gemini and we did not write a single line of code. We just use ChatGPT to write it for us. Now, before we end, make sure that you check out our Kickstarter campaign. It is about to end in 47 hours and it is all about drones and AI. So if you're interested in this topic, don't forget and try to back us if you can. If you cannot, no problem. Just share it with your friends and help us spread the word. So this is it for today and I will see you in the next one.